At Bedford Memorial Hospital, volunteers make a huge difference, and you could too. Um, I manage the volunteer program here at Bedford Memorial Hospital. We have um, close to 100 volunteers serving um, a wide range of capacities. We have gift shop volunteers, greeters, information desk, chaplains, students. So a wide variety, a wide, wide age group. So you've got, actually, it sounds like you would have a volunteer opportunity here for just about anybody from any walk of life who would like to spend some time helping others. We do. We try to meet um, the, the volunteers' need. Um, it's more, you know, important that they're enjoying their time here. Let me talk. We, of course, are standing out here at Bedford Memorial Hospital in front of the gift shop here. Now, sometimes people may not realize, okay, it's a gift shop. You go in, you buy a nice card or some flowers or something for somebody who is a patient here at Bedford Memorial Hospital. But the money you make from this actually goes to help the patients and improve their stay here at the hospital, doesn't it? It does. We have more than just patient gifts. We have gifts that anybody in the community um, would enjoy. Um, they're very unique that all of our proceeds go back to the hospital. We've been able to purchase a blanket warmer for our med surge patients on the third floor. We purchased a new oven for the adult daycare center and a piano for Oakwood Manor. Wow. So. And that's all because people have actually come down here and they've made purchases or made donations, for example, such as your tree that you have over here. Uh, they can support the hospital in many different ways. Right. Well, you've got a lot of wonderful people here, volunteers who assist you in what you do. Go ahead and introduce this gentleman, if you will, here. This is Dan Crumrine. And Dan, you do what here at Bedford Memorial Hospital? I am a greeter at the hospital. So that means when I come in the hospital, uh, you can tell me where to go. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Happy to. Uh, yes, and I escort people around the hospital as well. Why did you choose to become a volunteer? I had a stroke a year ago and I was treated here at the hospital and uh, lost my job as a result of the stroke, so I'm giving back. That is awesome, isn't it? Probably, you know, I, I don't know what you did for a career before this, but I bet the time you spent here as a, as a volunteer has been real important and valuable to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. You worked for 45 years and no more work. You need to do something. So. Well, thank you very much. It's a pleasure meeting you. You too, sir. Now, Barbara, you have somebody else here. Would you introduce her, please? I do. This is Vicki Bertram. Vicki, what is it that you do here? I work in the gift shop, and I am the, aux the auxiliary treasurer. Working in the gift shop, did I have it right that these funds, when, when Barbara and I were talking about it, they are really important to patient care here at Bedford Memorial Hospital? Absolutely. We, we do the things that probably aren't on the normally requested list mm -hmm. to help out each department, and we actually make them ask. Mm -hmm. So it's not like we just willy-nilly decide what to do. It's what they really are looking for. You know, one of the things that I just realized, Vicki, uh, as we're standing here, and I've always said this about Bedford Memorial Hospital, I've been a patient here myself, uh, <laughs> you can find a place to park here. Uh, it's really easy to get to, uh, Oakwood Street, just out, just out of downtown Bedford. You don't have to be coming here to visit somebody at the hospital oh. to come to the gift shop, do you? No, stop in and see us. We've got home decor, which we love to pick out and display, but we also have jewelry and purses and scarves, so there's probably something in here for just about any lady in town. Let me go ahead because I know this woman because she's actually been on Living in the Heart of Virginia before. Patty Black, uh, she is with uh, Riddle on the Harp, right? Yes, you got it. Now, what are you doing here at BMH with a, with a harp? This is a small harp called a therapy harp that the auxiliary here at Bedford Memorial purchased so that uh, I could come in and play music from time to time. I sit in the lobby. If the folks in the emergency room are really stressed, one of the staff might say, you know, please play for us. Uh, if there is someone here visiting a patient and says, you know, my, my relative would really like some music, I can go up to the room. And this is so wonderful. It's portable and it's therapeutic. Why did you, ch uh, you decide to become a volunteer here? Um, actually, Anita Lowe, who is a community relations uh, person here at the hospital, started this program in Lynchburg at the hospitals. So when Anita transferred here, it was just a, a no-brainer that I would expand over here also. I'm going to go back to Vicki over here, if you will. Vicki, have you had the opportunity to uh, be here in the gift shop or walking around the hospital and hear Patty playing? Oh, absolutely. I kind of look forward to her on Mondays. Yeah. She's typically here Monday, and so am I. So we, uh, it, it's nice background, and it's calming, yeah. very calming. Let me go ahead and bring a few. Uh, Barbara, go ahead and come back over here with me, please. Let's talk a little bit more. Um, if somebody wants to be a volunteer at Bedford Memorial Hospital, is there an application process? How do they avail themselves of this opportunity? They they can contact me um, here at the hospital and they complete an application. Um, if you've not had a TB test in the last six months, that is a requirement. And then we go over an orientation handbook that covers things like safety, infection control, some of the things that you need to know while you're here. 
Now, the individuals that are here, you kind of gave us an outline before. Let's talk a little more specifically about the volunteers. For example, you would have people here that might work in the gift shop. You, of course, have, uh, have the greeters here. Uh, Patty, of course, is volunteering to go around and play music. If there's a volunteer out there who maybe is, a, is an artist or an educator or another kind of performer like Patty, uh, can they volunteer to come in and provide whatever services they have expertise in? Absolutely. We have um, Oakwood Rehab Center connected to us. We have 111 residents that live here full time. Anytime you know we can provide an activity for, for them, some type of enjoyment, um, anything, any skill that anyone has, we try to meet those needs and place them in an area. Here. You know, one of the things, Barbara, that, that I have learned, and I know you know this as uh, the volunteer coordinator here at Bedford Memorial Hospital, is this is so important important to the patient care here and the well-being not only of just the patients but their family visiting too. It is and our volunteers work so hard and um, really they do a wonderful, wonderful job. I'm going to jump back over here to Vicki real quick. Vicki, we talked about that of course the gift shop is open for the general public to come in and shop. T tell me about the hours. Monday through Friday 9 to 4.30, Saturdays 9 to 12. Now, is there anything in there? I'm looking through the glass here. I see some wonderful pottery. I see some great plates. I see flowers and statuary and uh, little kotchkes and stuff like that. So you've got a little bit of everything in here, don't you? We do. We do, and we actually just started rolling out our spring merchandise, and, and there's more to come, more to come. Jewelry, but the jewelry is gorgeous and a little bit for everybody. It's just fun. It's a fun place to stop, and we love visitors. Bedford Memorial Hospital has a community health and wellness fair on Wednesday from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Bedford Memorial Hospital's front lobby. You can call for information at 266-6000 or visit them online at bmhpa.com. You can also contact them if you'd like to inquire about becoming a volunteer.